Hey guys, Faith First Farm and Homestead, and I am in the process of making my facial bar soap. It's activated uh, peppermint charcoal detox bar. It's actually a great soap bar, great facial cleanser bar. It's uh, goat's milk soap base, peppermint charcoal, or peppermint essential oils and uh, a melted uh, butter based soap like triple butter or double butter or shea butter or something like that the one that I've got that's on my stove in the glass bowl is the triple butter this time last time I used the shea butter it all works it makes great soap. Um, I'm trying to stir on the activated charcoal here. Just wanted to show you guys a little bit of one of the things that I do. Um, things are going to change here real soon. Here within about five to seven weeks, we're going to be relocating. I know I made another video that I haven't posted yet. Um, because it's got the place and a few people I haven't told about it yet. Um, yeah, we're going to be relocating to Red Oak, Oklahoma. We have a camper in process that we're going to be putting on the land. We're going to kind of make that into a permanent thing until we get our house built. We're going to be building our storm shelter slash root cellar first. And we're going to build our house up around it to where we can uh, get into the storm shelter root cellar from inside the house because of our animals. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight on how I do this and just one of the things I do. I know, kind of, and don't mind my kitchen, like we're going through stuff and cleaning stuff up and getting ready to move. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so I got about halfway done here. Um, I had to use the last pound of my triple butter soap base because um, it wasn't enough. Apparently, for how much I make, I need to melt the whole two pounds of the topping soap base. I call it the topping because you can use the double butter, the triple butter, the shea butter, um, the aloe soap base. You could use coconut milk soap base, pretty much any of the other ones. You could even use a honey soap base for it, um, which that would be interesting. <laughs> anyway, um, but I'm in the process of melting the last one pound of the, give you a, let you see it there. You let it go for like 30 seconds. I usually start it out for the first couple times at 35 seconds and then go down to 30 as it melts more. Um, once I'm done putting them in the soap molds, then you just let them harden and then they have to cure. You guys are looking at my messy kitchen. Um, then they just have to cure for a time. Um... Usually they only have to set for like 24 hours after you make them. Just that was on the last little bar that I had left of my last batch I made. Um, snack bags, snack Ziploc bags seem to work real well for putting the dry bars in and then storing them in an airtight covered container. Um, give you guys a little sneak peek at this. Yeah, see it's melting really nicely. I'm going to take it out. Stir it up a little bit. I'll let you guys see that. Do not look at my messy kitchen. Do not. It is being cleaned. Stuff is being gone through. It is very messy. We've just had a lot of stuff. And it's it's just been kind of a huge mess. And it's getting taken care of. Definitely before we leave. Um, yeah. Anyway. I will move that so you guys aren't looking at my kitchen. I'm going to put that in for 30 seconds now because that's the third time around. And I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes. Thanks. Bye. 
Okay, so the finished product, well, not finished product, finished product in the molds. Um, this little container, I can actually cut that in half and make it two bars. So basically, I've gotten, I can get 20 bars out of two and a half pounds of goat's milk soap base. And two pounds of the topping soap base. Which is pretty good. So I will... I'm not going to pause the video until then, but... I'll show you guys the finished product in my next video. You guys take care and I will be doing... Definitely be doing a video before... Well, the day we leave for sure. I'm going to try to get a few videos in between here and there. Like, really busy trying to go through things and clean things up and figure out, you know, what's going, what's not, that kind of thing. So, we've got a lot going on. But, um, I'll definitely get with you guys on probably a couple more videos before we leave. And definitely one on the day that we leave. And the day after we... You know what, the day after we get, get to the property, because I want to do a video of the property and show the diagrams that I've drawn out and, you know, kind of the feel out of what we're going to do and where and that kind of thing. So, just give you guys a heads up. This is one of our little baby's rings. And yes, we're taking our kitties with us and we're taking our dog. Um, but... I will sign off until next video, and you guys take care, and God bless. Bye, guys.